so here she is, 2,270 grams. It's cold out here right now. She's in the process of starting to brim it, but this is Shelby. She's my good girl. Isn't that right, Shelby? But yeah, the cup weighs itself. It weighs 18 grams. So, minus that is how big this girl is. And uh, she's ready for a brumation, and she is ready to hatch next year. So I'm excited. I'm also going to get the measure and measure her. So before I go downstairs and measure the big turtles, I wanted to talk a little bit about Shelby's weight and her uh, how many inches her shell is. So last time I measured her, will you hush? This cat is a dog. Oh boy, you're on my stuff, boy. Uh, my desk is very full of stuff. Anyway, as I was saying, she was nine inches last time I measured her, but that was with a different measuring tape. So there may be inconsistencies between that. So it seems just as of now, she is eight inches. And that's fine for me because, and for her weight, because her weight is 2,200 or so grams. So she still is able to brumate and produce eggs. I'm not sure if she will get over eight inches. And uh, I do talk about it a little more in the next video, but I wanted to be more clear in this video with the measuring tape and everything. So now we go downstairs. So here I am downstairs. This is Kyoto. Behind her is Paradox, or uh, Ammonite as I like to call her. I don't want any misconceptions. She is not a Paradox morph. I just like the name Paradox. So. There she is, and then there is Dove over there, doing well. Today, I'm actually going to be weighing Kyoto along with Shelby. I already just weighed Shelby, and uh, the reason that um, the reason that I am brumating Shelby this year, some people like to wait until they are. Um, some people really like until they're 12 inches because that's the biggest that they can get. Uh, especially with yellow-bellied sliders, they do get a little bit bigger. But um, Shelby has been through a few owners. I am her fifth owner. She's a normal yellow-bellied slider. Nothing, um, nothing. I mean, there's definitely something unique about her, but uh, not. I would say she's not a unique morph. And she is old, uh, uh, older than my other turtles, since she is bigger. And um, if she's been through five owners, I can assume she's most likely about five years old. So because of that, she may not grow anymore anyways. And uh, I do have the space for her inside, just in case I need to stop the brumation. But um, I already have plenty of babies inside for the winter, so I think she'll be alright out there. Give me a little space and a little less work to do. and. It's not hurting her. She is of the size and weight range that she needs to be. I don't know if she'll get any bigger than 9 inches, so I am going to go ahead and brumate her this year. And now I'm going to weigh Kyoto, see how big she is. Uh, just because I'm curious, and uh, the recommended weight for females breed is actually it's about 1,500 grams, so no, no smaller than 1,500 grams. And as you just saw, Shelby is almost 200 grams, or over 2,000 grams. Excuse my words there, but yeah, she's doing good. And now we're going to see, out of curiosity, how much Kyoto weighs and how much she measures, because you can see right there between her scoots that she has grown a bit this uh, summer being outside and also being in this tank right here. I have not measured her since I actually bought her so this will be interesting. Right, I turned my uh, lights on so you can see she's a bit more moving. She is about
about, I'd say, 820 grams. And now I'm gonna measure her. She'll stay still. All right, so I couldn't film that. She was running around, but she is six and a half inches now, which I'm very happy with because that is an inch bigger than she was when she came to me. And um, I've had her for around half of a year now. So an inch every half a year is good. It's good to at least get an inch per year on them. Especially if you're a breeder, probably even more than one inch. I like my turtles to get gain at least three inches per year. And that's easier with the babies, but as they get older, you know, their metabolism stops being as fast. So keep the water very warm as I do. And that boosts their metabolism. And I feed them a lot, which I'm about to do now, so that'll also do that. And um, this is just another video with a little update. Bye, guys. And uh, sorry there's a lot of, um, last thing, there's a lot of miss, uh, uh, there's multiple ways I film my videos, like with the screen like this. I don't really think when I do it, I'm not doing it just for other people, you know. If I was, I would have a lot, um, I would have a lot, I would be a lot more organized with my videos, but this is just for me to log my turtles, and I thought you guys might like to see. So if my video orientation or how I film my videos is a little wacky, I am fine with that. It does not bother me. Bye turtles, see you again soon. I'm going to feed you, then I'll go upstairs.